Hey there folks, today I want to bring you a little toolbox tour. Uh, this is my toolbox at work. It's a Triple Bank Master Force uh, sold by Menards. I got it second hand. Um, so yeah, get into it. And then up top here I got a Series 2 I believe it is, US General uh, top chest. Not snap on, <laughs> but yeah. So getting into it, up top here I got my Mac RBRT bits. Um, just the 120 one piece kit, really awesome set. And then I just got random junk laying up top here that needs safety glasses, stuff like that, hats, whatnot. Uh, next up, just uh, studs, chain, extra bolts, stuff like that, re-threaders. Uh, next, wire brushes, uh, broken drill bits that have yet to be warranted. And then this is just like tire pressure mirror, uh, little UV light from Streamlight, pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, air up tools, what have you. Next up, I got uh, my digital caliper uh, stud pullers, metric stud pullers. These are great. Should pull this out in case you don't have any. Definitely recommend this. They work great. They're also installers too. Here's the installers. I really have had good luck with them. Enjoy them. They don't mar the threads up and stuff like that, like other kinds do. And then just got a stamp on file gauge set. Uh, if you get this set, try and either buy one or swap out with somebody you know that has. So like you got your green for your intake, red for exhaust, and then uh, I'm probably going to get another one just for uh, Jake's or um, I guess when you tie them up, it doesn't really matter, just something cool. And then these are stubby Allens, ball in. Um, I've only used them once and they saved me, so I'm super glad I had them. But uh, yeah, they're they're nice. Not crazy expensive either. Uh, next up is I've got some radiator removal tools for like your hoses, coolant hoses, trim removal tools, long snap on one, screwdrivers, picks. This is a valve tool, valve stem tool, then a small spring tool. Next, I got the uh, what do they call like seal seal pick type deals. So they got a flat face on them, flat face, so you're not supposed to destroy the o-ring and then long pick set so next up screwdriver drawer uh so i just picked these up not too long ago and i've been really enjoying them and then these are the megadora vessels You're supposed to be able to hit them they're a jis drive which is really nice but yeah you're supposed to be able to impact them on the end here i know it's hard to see in the plastic case and they break uh, Phillips heads loose, so that's nice. Next up, my ratchet and extensions. So I've got, as far as extensions, it's your regular locking, unlocking, stuff like that, all the way down a quarter drive. Um, and then ratchets. So as you can tell, I'm a big fan of Snap-on. I also love Mako. Uh, I prefer like the mechanism on like the actual drive and stuff on snap-ons, I feel like they're better, stronger, but I really like Mako's locking, super ideal. But I just um, I just picked this up, so we'll see see how long this lasts me. I've heard some people like it, some people hate it. I don't know, I haven't used it like a whole ton. I just got it this past week, so other than that, uh, this is like a go-to for sure. Three A's snap-on. I know they look like they're not used. I literally just like super wiped everything down as much as I could. These actually clean up really well because this thing was literally black. So, yeah. And then uh, got half-inch drive once again. For some reason, so for years, I just dealt with just having this nice Matco one that was a flex head, which I recommend. But then I bought this a few months ago, and it's just a straight head. And I use it for basically everything now for some reason. So, also throw in there a quarter inch drive. Speaking of favorite, Koken. Um, I know there's probably a lot about them. You guys see like a lot of influencers and higher up people buying them. So, I figured I'd try it out. And this thing is awesome. So, the back drag is so nice when you got a bolt that like you just you need to start very lightly or just kind of ratchet back and forth like this with your hand um you know when it's when you can't really like grab the next one this one will do it even over the snap-on or the matco super awesome really love these also a little spinner too totally worth the buy next up 
I got my drills. So I got an M12 right angle drill, M18 fuel drill, and then this is a Lyle center punch. Um, this one is okay, but it, it is super nice sometimes if you can't, like you're in a tight spot or something like that, you just get this down there and push in and it centers for you. Uh, Mako hyperstep drill bits. And then these are Mac uh, half cut drill bits. So these are super nice to have too. Um, you can see they're, they're smaller in size. So, and then uh, it go, pairs really well with the right angle drill. Next up, I got these carbide burr set. Super nice for Matco, lifetime warranty are great. And then a snap-on extractor drill set. I probably wouldn't recommend getting the snap-on ones because they don't warranty their drill bits like I think Mac does. And um, I'm not sure if Matco does, but yeah. The bits or the extractors are warrantied at least. And then just a, this is just a longer bit set. And then another extractor right here. Blue point, obviously. Haven't used this set, so I don't know if they're good or not. But yeah, let's try that out. And then just your basic screw extractor set, pretty nice to have. And then RBRT right here. These are super nice. So they're extractors, just drill it out, pound that in, take it out. Uh, then I got this up here, which is a wheel stud cleaner. So obviously I'm missing the cleaner. I need to order some more, but super cool to have when you got those lug nut or the studs that are super, super rusty. Cleans them right up. Uh, I'll take you over here. So over here, I just got my M18 hood light and then some Mac uh, trays and laying test leads, nothing too crazy. And then all my stuff right there. This drawer, I didn't like my power drawer. Uh, quarter inch M12 Milwaukee, three eighths Milwaukee, half inch Milwaukee. Both these are awesome. Uh, for the longest time, I always thought it was like, why would you waste your money on this? Kind of dumb. Um, but turns out this thing is awesome if you want to use three eighths because half inch is maybe too big on like the socket end size. You can get this in there. It's got a ton of power. To take things out. Uh, quarter inch brushless snap on. I really love the snap-on ratchets compared to the Milwaukee ones even. I just like the handle. It's got nothing to do with anything else. I just, for some reason, the handle seems to be all right in my hand. Um, this gem was my first ratchet, electric ratchet that I've ever got. Still going, still going good, and I like the small head on it. So I use it from time to time. This one I actually like better. I've, I've just, I've used some of the new Milwaukee ones, just trying them out and stuff, and they just, they're almost too big for me. Uh, M12 right angle drill. And then the rest of my batteries in there. Next up, my socket drawer. So over here, I got metric all the way over to standard. <laughs> so in the center, I keep any swivels. I have, like, these are all snap on. Um, left side is metric, right side is standard. Super nice, really high quality, can't go wrong. Um, back here, I got some 12 point gear wrench, half inch drive metrics, some swivels, quarter inch with, uh, of course, the 10 mils missing. So, and then uh, up here, in this little kit right here. Oh. Little bits on uh, e torques, bits, security bits, really nice kit. Uh, I don't run in the e torques a whole lot on the heavy duty side, but more and more cars obviously have them. I'm not a automotive technician but i work on them, friends and family and stuff like that and you'll run into them and then this is a sunex magnetic bit set corner drive worth the money it's cheap totally would recommend buying this um, don't use it all that often but when i do it's nice to have uh, and then back here just got my adapters any swivels size ups and then this is a um the socket for doing uh, disc brakes, adjusting them on semi trucks, trailers, whatnot. Behind that, Lyle tap sockets, and then just an array of extra sockets. And then this is a uh, Peterbilt coolant pressure adapter for the uh, overflow tanks. And then this is my what I use for my cap off. And then uh, over here, these are shallow Capri 3 a drive. Uh, pretty nice to have. Don't use them all that often, but nice to have at least. Back over here in this mess, I've got Matco ones that are half inch drive. Um, 
I've used them like the 24 is nice because it's pretty similar to 15 16s, so it comes in handy. Uh, back here, I have got some gray pneumatic metric 12 points. They've been pretty good to me. I haven't used, I don't use 12 point like all the time, so but I've actually been thinking about buying some chrome. I don't know if I'm gonna go with Mac or Snap on, on them, uh, but I'd like a little bit nicer set. And then over here, all my standards. So as far as sockets go and standard sizes, like I have all tacked on sockets. I've had them since I basically started doing wrenching professionally for a few years now. And they're, they've held up fantastic. I haven't broke one. They don't, I haven't had any issues with them at all. And totally were worth the money. I don't know what they're priced at right now, but they're fantastic. Um, down here, uh, as far as my three is deep and shallow go, I got Matco and the mid-link, I have snap-on ones. So none right here. This is just a oil pressure sensor socket, snap-on. Uh, what do we got? Just got some random extensions right here. Got my brushless snap-on gun. Love this, love the rocker trigger. And then my long reach three A's. I want to get the quarter inch drive, but just been putting it off, I guess. Uh, down here, I got these half cut bits from Snap On for this kit. Of course, it doesn't want to open. I haven't really used these a whole lot, but I'm sure they will. They weren't too expensive. This kit, a little bit pricey, um, but totally worth the money, worth its weight in gold. I've used it. It's help me out so much it's tremendous you get these these sockets even even mean i know people might complain 12 point i like that they're 12 point uh it's kind of nice if i'm already in a tight spot i can get to the next one you know and if i know what i'm doing and hopefully i shouldn't round anything off but yeah i really enjoy them ah and they snap right into this ratchet here I'll show you guys a little inside on it but yeah, and then look at the clearance you got there. They're fantastic. I love it. And then it even comes with a uh, little bit adapter right there. You can put in obviously for bits over here, whatnot. Uh, I need to get the standard set. I don't know why I haven't yet, but. And then uh, next up, these are for taking off your clamps for like turbo, cold air intake, stuff like that. Awesome, snap on set. So, and then uh, down here I have gear wrench round and bolt extractors these things are worth their weight in gold also they were cheap well relatively cheap i guess compared to tool truck prices and they're all lifetime warranty so that's super nice uh these ones are grip rb rpt i can't remember what they're called but the grip edge um allen's haven't used them a whole ton they seem all right um I've, i'm more like i've used some of the mac stuff so i'm assuming they're all it's all the same and uh, I, I know they work when you need them. I've seen a couple, not not this exact set, but out of my 121 piece set work good. And then yeah, over here, I got Snap-on Deeps, Tekton Shallows, and then same thing, Matco and Snap-on, and then Snap-on and Icon. Uh, back here too, I also house my half inch long ratchet and breaker bar. I got a Snap-on locking long, and then just an Icon breaker bar. It's done me well. Next up, my wrench drawer. Uh, all Mac up to here. I <laughs> go to one inch, got one Milwaukee, and then Mac Co for the rest up to inch and a quarter. Uh, I just got these in. These uh, wrench organizers are all right. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm going to, I want to do something to where I can get more in here and more organized because right now it's just kind of a different array. I cut up inch and a quarter, flare knot metric, stubby. Mako uh, wrenches, standard metric. Angle wrenches from Snap-on, awesome. Super expensive, but they're really nice. Uh, these are Icon double flex head ratchets, ratcheting wrenches. Uh, super, super nice. Really enjoy them. I love too that you can forward and backward on them, whatever. So you don't necessarily get stuck in a place. Uh, yeah, and warranty with Harbor Freight so far for me has been decent, can't go wrong. Uh, some gear wrench, cross feet. A little bit bigger metric wrenches, snap-on wrenches, adjustable wrenches, ratcheting 15, 16, and then PWZs. I just got into these. I don't know why I've been holding off so long on buying these. 
and they're super cool. They've really helped me out. You get rounded off pipe plugs, anything like that. They, super, they work great. Whatever, uh, whatever you need to grab them on, they, they grip pretty good. So, next up is my player's drawer. Uh, one thing that I kind of irritates me, I need to find a nice, like, slim design player holder because I obviously I'm running out of room and I would like to stack these all sideways, but I need to find something that'll fit because this drawer is so, so thin. But yeah, so down here, snap on, snap ring players, 90 degrees, basically all snap on going across uh, until you get to the Nipex side. But yeah, and then Mac uh, and snap on vice grip players, pinch off right here, cable battery cutters, and then this is a carbide scraper for Matco, long one, and then Mac scrapers and cotter pin tool remover, which uh, as far as big truck goes, I haven't had any luck pulling cotter pins with this thing yet. It is nice to have every now and again. You can use it more as a pick. Same with this. So, and then uh, these are recent pickups, coolant spring clamp grabbers. These two, this is a Mac one, this is Mayhew. They look pretty identical, so I'm guessing they're both made by Mayhew. Uh, I really like them, great to buy. And then some Lang slack adjuster tools back there. Uh, just picked this up, nice auto wire stripper. Pretty convenient when you gotta get into a place. And then these are awesome for crimpers and strippers and whatnot. And then back here, just got some snap-on uh, long double box wrenches and then Icon, except for these side is ratcheting. So, yeah. Next up, my hammer drawer and pry bar. Uh, these just relative recently, a couple months ago, picked them up. Super nice to have. I love the curve in them. They, uh, Nice from popping seals out and prying up and things. Snap on pry bars, hammers. I need to get a nice, a nicer, like this one's a snap on one, this one isn't. I want to get a nicer one of these. Uh, brake spring tool, seal remover, brass hammer, and then ladies' feet. Okay, so this is more like my die grinding air tools, blah, blah, blah. So, Air impacts over here, both half inch drive, uh, die grinders, electric die grinders, which I like a lot. They are super nice for just quick and easy. I will say putting a cutter on these, like when you got to cut a decent amount, I definitely, air is definitely the way to go, but it's nice. You got something small to do, ain't no big deal. And just got some random assortment of stuff. My nice uh, burbit on here on the all straight. And then this is a needle scaler. Haven't used it a whole ton, but I got it from Harbor Freight. It's been doing all right, so nothing to complain about. Uh, this is Dremel tool. I'm on like my third Dremel tool now, being warranted from Milwaukee. But uh, every time, I guess they've taken care of it, so I really shouldn't complain too much. <laughs> now this is just an Astro pneumatic long uh, blowgun. Next up, so. This is a Nipex, big Nipex. Never know when you'll need it. Uh, down here, big set of metric wrenches from Sunex. Haven't really used them much, but they were cheap enough. Figured I'd pick them up. Uh, ball end gear wrench longs. 87 piece Torx bit set from Blue Point. Super awesome kit. Definitely, definitely recommend getting. And then down here, just my three A's, half inch and quarter inch torque wrenches. I just picked this up. Actually, haven't even got to use it because it's so new. But yeah, super nice. I love all of the digital torque wrenches from Snap On. They're great. So down here, I've got these. I just got two pipe plug capped and die socket just got these from harbor freight pretty cheap but needed them one day so ran and got them uh aluminum baron racing driver seal driver snap on one and then this is just a cheapo uh amazon one 
that is a steel one. It's been pretty awesome to me. I've got no complaints. As cheap as it was, I, yeah, it was totally worth it. Arab tool, newer Packard Kenworth Peterbilt's. Uh, oil filter wrench, taking caps off, truck wheels, scrapers, pipe wrench down there. Alrighty, up over here, kind of a mess, but I got punches, chisels, so this is a max set right here, big chisel set. Uh, I love this set, just recently got it, and I love how big these are. It's fantastic that the end is like that, just kind of helps you from smacking your fingers, I guess gives you a little bit better grip too. Snap on air hammer, fantastic, my bits, uh, anchor pin bushing and pin driver. Um, yeah, that's about that. Next up, my electrical drawer. So, snap on multimeter, uh, trailer tester, cord, weather pack, crimper, Mac tools, uh, uh, test light, incandescent. I don't run any LED ones. And then just a power probe soldering kit there and then this is a terminal tool cleaner weather or a temp gun these are awesome for put them in a cigarette lighter you get your power ground light lets you know if cigarette lighter is working and you can just grab power and ground rather than searching all over cab for it right here is just a matco soldering kit more or less just use the the gun there and then this is just a if i can open up Matco relay tester. So yeah, that's my electrical drawer. And then down here, this is just junk drawer, kind of random stuff in there. And then I got my welding or welding mask, gloves. Uh, these are great for put them over your your arms so you don't get all burned up and stuff like that. And then just a regular mask. This is just a junk drawer, nothing too crazy. This, basically another junk drawer, but <laughs> um, just got gear wrench, wrenches, impact driver, and then a Lyle spring presser tool for doing brakes on automotive stuff. And down here, I've got, uh, this is like a knock sensor kit and whatnot from Harbor Freight. Uh, Mac tools, mini die grinder, pencil die grinder, whatever you want to call it. This thing, awesome. When you need it, you need it. I really like it. Definitely recommend at least picking one up. Doesn't have to be Mac. And then a uh, rethreader kit. Cannot go wrong there. This is a truck cooling system pressure tester. And then my snap-on coolant refiller. Uh, back here, just got some random oil filter wrenches. Ooh. and then uh so up here just got my couple pocket things for in the morning stream light chargers got my big huge mac pry bar a couple of lights and then uh over here is my little cart that i use just throw things on and away i go keep a couple picks straight and then uh seal along with the magnet hammer and then my favorite light right now because i like you can just swap the batteries and away you go you don't have to wait for it to charge and then just got your typical oil filters and stuff down there and a straight pry bar these things are awesome up over here i didn't go over this part but we got a just a magnet it's got all my little bits on there little pry bars snap on players super nice um knives what have you, drill bits, stuff like that. So yeah, we will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for checking it out.